Nature's inspiring, but really from a formal point of view, that it's it's there's there's so much complex geometry, and you find more complex form in nature than you do in in, in the um, human built world. I'm Jason Payne. I'm an architect and a, a professor of architecture in Los Angeles. I have a small boutique architecture firm called Hirsuta. Yeah, right now we're in Joshua Tree National Park in um, Southern California. And the strange object is um, a cross between a disco ball and an asteroid. Yeah, I don't know if I have a vision in architecture. I think I have an um, ambition in architecture, which, which would be to um, constantly stay at the edge of experimentation and to uh, constantly, you know, to remain relevant. I think what's ahead of its time in architecture is what's relevant at the moment. I mean, you asked me to name the one person that I know that's most avant-garde, that would, it, it, it would be Sylvia Laban. And she changes minds. I mean, she, 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 she has shifted the discourse, and not just once, but actually a number of times. It's very, very rare for theorists and historians and critics to have that kind of power. Uh, I am only afraid of architects who don't think. I think that I would like architects to want to do good, and I think that I would like them to be absolutely terrified at every moment of the responsibility that that engages. Without that terror, the architect becomes a potentially very irresponsible figure. That constant risk is what makes architecture different from other things. Architecture's great strength is its belief that it can change the world, and architecture's great weakness is that it believes that it can change the world. And I think that that is always the case. I think that that is the basic um, paradoxical uh, um, drive. Mm -hmm.